So um, when Melanie was reading those prayers yesterday, it inspired me to write a meditation based on those two prayers. So um, this, they're called the Celtic Prayer and the Prayer of Good Over Evil, Light Over Dark. So I'll read them again this morning, and then we'll go into the meditation, and then I have another little prayer afterwards. And our intention is that we will feel the inspiration of the flame to kindle within us the knowledge of truth and the comfort of love. Um, so the Celtic prayer goes, this morning as I kindle the fire on my hearth, I pray that the flame of God's love may burn in my heart and in the hearts of all I meet today. I pray that no envy or malice, no hatred or fear may smother the flame. I pray that indifference and apathy, contempt and pride may not pour like cold water on the fire. Instead, may the spark of God's love light the love in my heart that it may burn brightly through the day. And may I warm those who are lonely, whose hearts are cold and lifeless, so that all may know the comfort of love. And the prayer of good over evil, light over dark. Fill the heart with the oil of love. Place in it the wick of a single pointed mind. Light it with the knowledge of truth and remove the darkness of ignorance around you. Just as one lamp can light many lamps, let each kindle this light in many hearts. So <clears throat> let us begin. So get comfortable in your chairs. Place both feet firmly on the ground. And if you prefer, gently close your eyes. Begin to focus on your breath. Notice the way the air comes into your lungs and then effortlessly flows out. As you breathe in, send the breath completely throughout your body, expanding your lungs and heart. Breathe out anything that feels dark or constricting. With every inhalation, your whole body continues to relax. You are feeling a deep peace. Imagine you're sitting in a rocking chair. You're in your favorite room, maybe at a lake home or your own living room, or maybe a house at the beach or a cute little cottage in the woods. You rock gently back and forth, still breathing, completely relaxed, completely at peace as you rock back and forth. All is quiet. You are totally relaxed in mind and body. But it's dark in the cottage. The light has not yet entered your room. You see a fireplace in front of you. The firewood is laid out ready to be lit. So you strike a match and leaning over, touch it to the kindling. The flames spring to life as you light the fire with the knowledge of truth, removing the darkness of ignorance around you. You are surrounded with the light from the fire and the earthy, fragrant tang of the wood. A prayer comes to mind. It goes like this. This morning, as I kindle the fire on my hearth, I pray the flame of God's love may burn in my heart and in the hearts of all I meet today. I pray that no envy or malice, no hatred or fear may smother the flame. 
I pray that indifference and apathy, contempt and pride may not pour like cold water on the fire. I pray that the spark of God's love will light the love in my heart, that it may burn brightly through the day. And I pray my love will warm those who are lonely, whose hearts are cold and lifeless, so that all may know the comfort of love. Now, <clears throat> allow a warm glow of love to fill your body, mind, and your spirit. Fill your heart with the oil of love, the, er the essence of of agape. Place in your heart and in the oil of love the wick of a single pointed mind and let each spark of the fire Kindle a flame of love in your heart. Let it burn and glow, getting brighter and brighter. As you continue to rock gently, Notice how brightly and fiercely the flame of love burns in your heart. How it reaches out to envelop the world in its warmth. Let it blaze and roar, simmer and spark as you move through your day, spreading its warmth and light to everyone you meet. Sit for a while and let the fire burn and warm you and spread the flame of love to all you love.
This is a prayer by Rumi. I am in love with love, and love is in love with me. My body is in love with the soul, and the soul is in love with my body. I opened my arms to love, and love embraced me like a lover. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So for those who are joining us later, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.